Firstly, we'd like to start with the idea of how President Obama was elected, and let's take a look back to 2008. Public policy institutes and think tanks serve a very useful purpose of giving a uh, independent opinion on a critical or key domestic or foreign policy issue. And I think we're in for a very wrenching, uh, destabilizing, um, fascinating, if you're a reporter, um, uh, period here. What, how are things in your country? What do you think about the United States? What do you think about the UN? I think we're particularly gratified that uh, Rice University's Baker Institute was ranked as one of the, what they call, top to go to global think tanks in the nation and the world. And we're gratified, especially this year, 2013, because we are uh, commemorating our 20th anniversary of the founding of the Baker Institute. There's not a topic that the Baker Institute doesn't cover. And the ones that are most pressing on you know, energy and Middle East policy and general international security, the Baker Institute is top notch and they're always looking for more interns. So this is a place that generates sustainable, concrete ideas that can be true policies and it lets students participate. So I want to talk a little bit about why your campus policies is the best for 10, 20, 30 years to set America on the course for the future. And not in a, a nominal sense. Students aren't coming here filing papers. They're certainly not being anyone's desk jockey. They're doing real research. They're looking at data. They're putting together proposals. They're discussing academic literature with their fellows. And they're working together to come up with an idea that can make society better. These rankings are important in terms that they reflect, I believe, uh, the quality of the intellectual product that our Baker Institute fellows and scholars produce. Uh, the Baker Institute fellows are, are the uh, visiting and resident fellows of the Institute, the Baker Institute scholars, the Rice University professors who work with the Baker Institute on public policy issues. And it's the intellectual product, the, the research programs on domestic and foreign policy, uh, the quality of this research, the focus on turning the research into cogent, relevant policy recommendations for decision makers in the private sector and the public sector. Uh, this added to the fact that we are nonpartisan. Uh, we don't have a political bias as we go into our research in our various programs. I think this model has uh, brought the Baker Institute to where it is in, in a relatively short time uh, of 20 years.